Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we've got some doll news to discuss, all entirely Rainbow High related. So, about, like, maybe a month ago or so, I honestly don't remember how long it's been, but not too long ago, we got a bunch of MGA doll leaks, we had Yummy Land stuff, which I don't cover on this channel, but Peachy Reviews covers it usually, so... She might cover this stuff, <laughs> go check out her channel if you want to see that, because I'm not going to be posting about it, but, um... We got to see some Bratz stuff and some Rainbow High stuff. Today, some high quality versions of those stock photos, the Rainbow High stock photos, have officially been revealed. So we're gonna be talking about those because it's a much clearer look at what the products are. And we get to see what the gimmick is with these dolls because they all had crystal accessories and now we know why. So without further ado, let's begin. So here we have the Rainbow High crystal fashion line as it was being called. But currently, it's being dubbed Crystal Create, I want to say. Um, I think that's what I've heard people call it. I'd have to check, but I'm pretty sure people have been referring it to that. Creative Crystals, yeah. And the reason it's called that is because these dolls will come with molds and resin, most likely. We actually don't know if it's going to be resin or not. Based on a previous controversy that happened not that long ago, just this year where MGA had to recall a bunch of Miniverse products because they included resin, which uncured resin is kind of toxic and you're not supposed to ingest it. And kids don't know that, so they're gonna try to eat the goop. You gotta be honest, as a kid, if you saw some colorful goop, you would try to eat it. I know I did. That's how I ended up eating soap from the kitchen sink one time. But yeah, basically these dolls come with molds and that's how you make their accessories. So like the purse, the accessory, on this doll's headband, like the little stars attached to her headband. It looks like her earrings, as well as like a little medallion, which I'm assuming is like a ring for you. And even the doll's sunglasses are all things that you have to make yourself. Which is, it's a fun gimmick, but if it is resin, this is a really bad idea because the same thing that happened with Miniverse is gonna happen here. You know, like, it might even happen on a larger scale because these new Rainbow High dolls are so obviously geared towards children. Hopefully it's not resin, hopefully they found like a new material, but I don't know what else it could be. So, yeah. With that out of the way though, let's talk about the dolls themselves. This is the new character, Iris. Her last name is Bo. Iris Bo. Is it because she's Rainbow? I, I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, Iris is pretty cute. It's an amazing base doll, and it's just really nice to get another Rainbow High character who has brown hair, because Rainbow High is very avoidant on using realistic hair colors for the characters most of the time. Like, we do have a couple blondes here and there, but colors like brown just were not used very often as a hair color in this line. I'm pretty sure the only other character other than Iris who has brown hair is uh, Vanessa Tempo, who is also a Rainbow-themed character. Also, her hair is nice and curly, super pretty. I like the way this character looks. Like, she's just, she's just pretty, you know? And unlike the other characters, it looks like her skirt may actually be made out of fabric. Because a lot of the other dolls have at least one non-fabric clothing piece, other than their shoes. But yeah, overall, Iris is great. We'll get back to her. Bella seems to have a plastic skirt, which it's a pretty skirt, so I don't mind it terribly, but yeah. Oh, it's not a ring, it's a necklace type thing. Bella is wearing hers as a necklace. Okay. <laughs> um, but this Bella is a gorgeous doll. I really, really love this Bella, to be honest. Oh wait, they do all come with rings. Bella does have a ring pictured there. But yeah, similar to Iris, Bella also has accessories that can be made from resin, including her earrings, her purse, um, seemingly her glasses, and also their little ring for you and the collar around her neck with the two hearts on it. But again, this Bella is gorgeous. I just kind of, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to want to like wait to put the doll together, you know, like having to wait for like whatever material this is to set. I don't know. It's again, it's strange. It could be fun to make these accessories, but we would have to see how it's done. You know, like what the steps are. But again, this Bella is super pretty, definitely feels like a step in the right direction for Rainbow High, because Bella's previous doll, the winter one, was completely and utterly hideous. So I'm glad they remembered that Bella is supposed to serve and not flop, 
I guess. That's the only word I could think of. Personally, I love this violet. I'm a, I'm a violet defender. This doll is gorgeous. I... Like, I get people not liking her, but hey, at least she has a fabric skirt, you know? Unlike my favorite Bella. One thing that doesn't really make sense with this doll, though, is the fact that she's wearing sneakers. Like, as much as I love her outfit, I can admit that the sneakers are a bit of a nonsensical move, because... Why? She's dressed so glamorous, and then they give her these hideous blob sneaker shoes. Like, it's just kind of ugly, you know? Especially when Bella is wearing cute heels, you know? Iris has some cute heeled boots. Like, they could have done something like that for Violet. I don't know why they didn't. But yeah, again, just like the previous dolls, Violet has her crown, her um, purse, glasses, and earrings, all as the things that you would make for her with resin. And the heart-shaped top she's wearing is made of plastic as well. And then we have Skylar, and Skylar has a little bear bodice made of clear plastic, which you don't make. She just comes with that. Kind of like the rest of the accessories, they should have just come with them instead of you having to possibly make them. You know, actually, I don't know how well this is going to work, because, like, the little bear purse, you know? How are you going to make that, like, empty inside? It's confusing that they come with these molds. Is it just, like, you remove them from the molds and you feel like you made them, but it's not actually? I don't know. Also, there's an error up on the top of the screen that says Skyla, Skyl, Skyle, Skyle Bradshaw. They forgot the R in her name. I like this Skylar doll, but it's just because the style isn't what she usually would wear. Usually Skylar wears denim, and I hate denim. Denim is like one of my least favorite materials ever. I don't wear anything made of denim, except for maybe some like shorts. <laughs> but yeah, this looks like it should be worn by a Sunny doll, you know? Like this little bear outfit looks like something Sunny should wear. So it's, again, it's strange to me, but I like the doll overall. You know, this is the first time you'll ever hear me say that about a Skylar doll. Um, I can't really think of much to say about these two other than I like them. Like, I love the Violet, and the Skylar is cool. I fucking hate this Amaya, though. It's like she's so close to being pretty because her hair looks awesome. I really like her hair. The color, the, the splitting of the colors, you know, it looks nice. But then she just has the most bland outfit ever. And then she's got, like, unicorn horn and ears on her headphones. It's just like... It's childish, you know? Her outfit is very childish. I know I didn't say that about Skylar. It's because this isn't childish, it's just cute. But this one does feel childish. Yet, instead of wearing sneakers, they gave her heels. Why is Violet the only one in this line wearing sneakers? I feel like I'm losing my mind. But yeah, just like the other dolls, uh, she comes with molds for a ring that I'm assuming is for the child who plays with these. Sunglasses, the ears and horn, See, that's another weird thing. Like, the ears and horn for her headphones are separate. And so is the chain. Like, they're not sculpted into the mold as well. It's really confusing how this is going to work. <laughs> like, why are the molds there? They have to be there for a reason, right? It's got to be part of the dolls. That's what everyone's been saying so far. Like, oh, we're probably going to have to make these things with resin. That's where I got the idea from, from the rest of the community. But I don't know. It's just getting weirder. But anyway, this Amaya has a pretty face and pretty hair. She just needs a better outfit because this is just underwhelming. I don't hate it that much. I'm definitely like over exaggerating for the funny, oh, I hate Amaya a bit, but I don't know. This doll's not so bad. She's probably the weakest from the line though. Again, if I ranked them, we'd have Bella at the top, her in second place, third, fourth, and then fifth. I know I said I like her a lot, but she's still fourth place to me. And I do like this Iris doll. She's, she's just really pretty. We do have two other dolls to talk about, though, that were also featured in my previous video. The Hairplay Amaya and Meline dolls. And they have completely different outfits. And they're also on the unarticulated budget bodies that the swim dolls and the budget dolls use. So that's interesting. In the original photos that we saw of these dolls, they were on articulated bodies. It seemed like they were just going to be reusing old stock for these dolls. And it doesn't look that way anymore, because Amaya has a unique face that we haven't seen anywhere, and a unique rooting pattern. And Meline also... Her hair color is lighter. You know, it kind of makes her look more like Harper than, like, Meline. Meline had very, like, golden hair, 
And this doll has like a more sandy hair color, you know? It really makes her look like Harper. Uh, Harper Dune from, what the hell is it called? Pacific Coast. Yeah, but it says Malene. It's Malene. That's definitely Malene's face. Yeah. <laughs> the outfits definitely changed a lot. Uh, Malene and Amaya were wearing very similar dresses before. And now Malene seems to have like a tie-dye uh, shirt with a belt and a puffy skirt. Whereas Amaya is wearing... What is that... What is that style of shirt called? I think it's from Chinese culture. I don't remember the word for it. Is it Chi Pao? Or is that something else? My brain is stupid, guys. So I looked it up and it is called a Chi Pao. Her top is kind of like the top part of a Chi Pao dress. I mean, I guess doll lines have done that before. Like my scene used a Chi Pao inspired top for a Barbie doll once, so. I don't know. <laughs> I guess, like, somebody more educated than me would have to speak on whether that's problematic or not, because I I don't know. I'm not Chinese. I don't feel like I'm in the position to say anything about that, so if any of you guys have thoughts on that, or if it's, like, not a big deal, let me know in the comments, but yeah. But yeah, their outfits are completely different. I do want to pull up the photos, actually. In other news, because I can't find the prototype photos. I know I could just watch my own video and get the screenshots because I could, but I don't really want to. <laughs> just take my word for it. The prototypes were wearing completely different outfits and you can check out my previous video if you want to see those. But it is confirmed currently that these dolls come with resin to create their accessories. And again, considering what happened with Miniverse just this year, it seems like such an odd decision to incorporate resin, the thing that made them have to lose a ton of money, like MGA lost a ton of money doing recalls on the series that came with resin. Maybe there is such a thing as like safe resin that kids won't die if they eat. I, I don't know. But yeah, it's again, it's just a strange, strange decision. <laughs> but anyway, I've kind of just been rambling for a bit here, so... That's actually all we had to talk about, just the, uh, crystal create, create, cr create a creature, I don't, I don't fucking remember what this line was called, and these hair chalk and style dolls. That's all we had to talk about, so I guess the last thing to do is point out the fact that Malene and Amaya have the exact same artwork, they just, <laughs> they just modified the bodies to give Malene a raised shoulder, and of course give them different faces. It's a little funny. It's also kind of random to use Malene for this line. I'm not against it. I'm actually happy that they're trying to slowly reintroduce more secondary characters who never had second dolls, especially when this is like Amaya's 15th doll. It's nice to have Malene get a new doll in this line, you know? Hopefully they'll continue that pattern in the future and we'll get to see more characters because, you know, if anyone deserves another doll, who's a character that I like? I don't remember. But there's somebody that I like who I would like to get another doll. I just don't remember who it is right now. So yeah, I'm gonna call it there. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, if we get more news on these dolls, I will update just so, you know, we can be all up to date. Like when we get to see the boxes, for example, I'll make a video about that. And maybe if they start showing up in stores soon, I don't think it's gonna happen that soon. But Who's to say? These could start showing up in stores next week, for all we know. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, hope to see you in my next one. Bye!